My name is Dieter Wanschur. Uh, welcome for another video edition of the Ortolino Company. Well, I'm the owner of Ortolino.com and we sell Japanese prints in weekly online auctions. And we are happy to produce videos um, as a kind of um, informative um, help for collectors of Japanese prints, beginners and sometimes also experienced collectors. Well, today's video um, is the attempt of a kind of a biography about an artist with the name of Natori Shunsen. And he was specialized in the genre of Kabuki actor portraits. But he's not an artist of the 19th century. He is the leading artist for Kabuki actor prints of the so-called Shinhanga art movement of the first half of the 20th century. Well, this art movement Shinhanga was a kind of renaissance, a kind of renewal of the old art of traditional Japanese printmaking. And it has a few modern Japan, uh, features. Um, and I, I will show you some difference. Um, maybe, yeah, let's start with that. In the background, you see four artworks by, by Natori Shunsen. And well, let's take uh, maybe a close up of one of these. They look rather modern. And, and you see, well, this guy's um, face expression is very individual. Old Kabuki prints from the 19th century, they are always more stereotype, yeah? And um, they do not have other features. As a rule of thumb, you can say, Prints of the 19th century were two-dimensional. The Shinhanga art movement tried to make them three-dimensional by introducing shadows, uh, using more gradations. Um, I will now show you, as a comparison, uh, prints from the 19th century of Kabuki actors. Um, let's take an example. Um, that is the wrong mouse. Let's go here. Yeah, we have it. Okay. Um, I chose the artist Hirosada Utagawa from the Osaka School of Printmakers. was active so roughly 1820 until 1860. And um, let's take a look at one of them. Maybe let's enlarge that one. And you see it's rather stereotype. And when you see dozens and, and hundreds, um, you recognize a little individual um, characters actually, yeah, and it's very two-dimensional. But before I'm going with more details into the 19th century, back to our artist, uh, Natori Shunsen. Well, he was born in 1886 in Tokyo, and he, is, he had studied Nihonga. What's Nihonga? Nihonga is traditional Japanese painting. After his studies, he started as an illustrator for a newspaper in Tokyo. Yeah, you must know, at the beginning of the 20th century, the times for Japanese printmaking from a commercial aspect was lousy. Um, the market had dwindled away because it had been replaced by photography. And so working as an illustrator for a newspaper or for a magazine was one of the few possibilities to make a living. But Natori Shunsen, um, next to his job as an illustrator, was also active, maybe during the night, as a painter. And he exhibited in galleries in Tokyo. And at one of these exhibitions in a Tokyo gallery, the great mentor and most important publisher for Shinhanga, Japanese uh, prince discovered Natori Shunsen, and that was Watanabe Shotsaburo. Well, this kind, this guy was, you can say, the mentor, or you can even say, the kind of inventor of the Shinhanga art movement. His idea was let's take the old traditional uh, art of Okay, of Japanese printmaking, but let's transform it into the 20th century by adding new features um, and by transforming it from a commercial art for cheap prices 
to something more high art. Um, and he had discovered that he can sell it better outside Japan. His export business was more important than um, the, the domestic sales in, in Japan. And he was very successful. And in this way, Natori Shunsen became his artist for the genre of uh, Kabuki actor portraits. Well, um, Natori Shunsen not only worked for Watanabe, but also for other publishers. But Watanabe remained um, his main um, cooperation partner. And well, during the lifetime, while he was um, active, he created several series. It's nearly always about actor portraits, 99%. Um, he also made a few Beijing prints, with Beijing uh, portraits of beautiful uh, women, but they, they are very, very rare. Next point, um, unfortunately, um, this is now a sad story. Yeah. The life of Natori Shunsen ended in a very tragic way, um, what had happened. Um, in 1958, the daughter of Natori Shunsen and his wife had died of pneumonia. And I think she was only 20 or 21 years old when she died. And two years later, it was on March uh, 1960, Natori Shunsen and his wife committed suicide at the grave of their daughter. They poisoned themselves. A bit terrible. It's something hard to understand for Westerners. Um, committing suicide um, has a long tradition in the Japanese society and, and history. You may have heard of seppuku, the ritual um, suicide. And even until today, the suicide rate in Japan is 10 times higher compared to other industrialized nations in Europe or in Northern America. Let's take, let's change the, the subject and I want to give you a few collector tips now about Natori Shunsen's prints. Um, they usually have small editions. It doesn't mean that they are limited editions, but the number of copies available are smaller. During the 19th century, Kabuki actors were the main business, yeah, and, and you find many. During the 20th century, it was a small niche. Um, landscape prints by Hasui or Beijing prints by Ito Shinsui, they are much more popular. So it's a fine, small niche, um, not cheap by, by no means. Um, Natori Shunsen prints are rather rare. And the price range, let's say, so middle um, until up, Let's say you can get a Natori Shunsen print for $500 to $1,000. And especially the early prints from the, 19, from the 1920s, um, they are um, more expensive well, than those um, made in, in later years. OK, let's come to the end here. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like um, our videos, I would be pleased to see you for our next one. And of course, I'm always pleased to see you in our auctions of Japanese prints on our website, artolino.com. Thanks for watching and have a good time and take care of yourself, please.